Now playing at the Cinema Cafe, Hampton, Virginia. Get your tickets now. My mother was killed by a white male hit and run driver. I know because she had called her job and told the, per the person at her job that and told the person at her job that she was just gonna go home and lay down. So obviously she wasn't hit full force, but maybe brushed. But my mother was um, rather delicate. You know, she was petite, she was very small. Um, she was a Navajo and uh, she died. Now my mother, uh, when I was a child, used to tell me stories uh, about how she was raised by black people and how they had in Alabama after her parents died in um, Texas, I believe, and how they used to put furniture against the door to keep out the Ku Klux Klan. You know, so in my mind, when um, I went back to my mother's apartment and found that she had been killed and died, and they took her body and, put, and brought it to the, to the morgue and then told me to go down to the morgue and identify her body, which I did, and because she had been dead for about a week, you know, she had begun to uh, decompose. And so um, uh, I became very angry and I wanted revenge against white people. The experience of death takes Earl Williams on a journey that pushes him to take on an out of character personality. He begins a life of crime that included breaking and entering stores and warehouses. He did not possess a criminal mentality but the pain he suffered from the loss of his mother caused him to end up in the Walpole Maximum Prison. Now playing at the Cinema Cafe, Hampton, Virginia. Get your tickets now.